Hello everybody, my name is Moritz and today I want to show you another zero point system. This time it is a pneumatic um, zero point system from System 3R. And as you can see, <laughs> something is missing. Uh, one of the carbide indexing um, pins or blocks is broken off. And this is why I got this very cheap on eBay. I only paid 20 euros and for that money it is an awesome value because besides that it is in perfect shape and I think it will work even if one is missing. So as I said it is uh, pneumatically actuated so you have the chuck and on the bottom there is a little hole and through this hole um, if you actuate it with six bars of pressure um, the system is released. So if we start from the top, um, there is a, already a very nice detail um, with these um, C-height um, stops. They are very um, nicely made. So the screws actually have a hole in them. And nearly the top, there is a through hole. And so if air moves um, through this um, threaded hole, if you actuate it, um, the air is pushed here through the hole and then on these studs there is also a hole which ends here on top so it can blow chips off and any debris so you have a nice contact surface if you, if you clamp down. Yes, Here on top there are eight um, holes where the system is screwed together. Um, four of them are for these M5 screws, I think they are meant um, to both the system together, so this, their springs are pre-tensioned, and the other four holes are meant for these M6 screws, and I think they are meant to screw this chuck into the fixture or the machine table, which of course um, bolts it down even further. Okay, so if I take this top plate here off, you can see the inside. So here is the cylinder which moves and it has 14 holes for these springs. They are indexing on one side in this cylinder and on the other side of course in the top plate. And they push this cylinder down. And yes, if it is pushed down, the bolts inside if you can see it, they are pushed inwards and then if you actuate it with air through um, where is it? Through the hole inside here, the cylinder is pushed upwards and you can get your, your pellet out. Yes, this inside stud is removable and here the screws are inside, I have to be careful. And yeah, as you can see it's nicely made there goes a the ball it is very nicely made also uh, this cylinder is uh, not the best quality i don't know if it's just my um uh, my chuck but it seems to be it is steel it is magnetic but it seems to be zinc plated and the plating already is um yeah gone away at some point so uh, I'm not sure, it doesn't look very high quality, but maybe they changed it since this jug was built. Yes, and here, once again, you can see the top. So usually the four um, C indexes and of course the three rotary indexes. And here I have a chuck or a, a pallet rather with the pull stud and it moves in here. And then as you can see, it is rot rotationally fixed. And then the pull stud is where these um, balls um, get pushed inwards and then uh, pull it down even further. Yes, so very interesting. Also, um, of course, there are O-rings on, on this, um, in this cylinder, on the cylinder and on the stud in here so it is very nicely sealed yes this cylinder here is indexed with this bore 
and this um, pin. So the the holes for the for the springs um, align. Yes. So all in all, um, nicely made, and I'm looking forward to to get this bargain to use. Thanks and bye bye.